What is up, car addicts? Welcome to another video. This is going to be customizing the brand new NS Hellion in GTA Online. Here it is right here. This car is part of the Casino Drip Feed. It was released today, October 3rd, 2019 at about 5 a.m. Eastern Time. It costs $835,000. Pretty expensive for a vehicle like this. You wouldn't really see this on the street and think it cost over $800,000 plus upgrades. So about a million dollars for, for this. But that's Rockstar's prices nowadays with the... Uh, DLC stuff, so here it is right here. I already bought it. If you're wondering why I have a bunch of Jaguars in the background, that's because unfortunately the Jugular did not release today. Everybody in the community, including me, thought they delayed it for this week because uh, they didn't release it last week, but actually they just straight up skipped it, which surprised the hell out of me this morning. I didn't expect that at all, so I don't know what to say. I mean, hopefully we get it next week, you know, but... I have no idea at this point. I'm re I really hope they didn't skip it. I mean, I'd love to have that vehicle eventually. It's a really nice car. It's basically a Jackal that looks a lot better with the exhaust note of the XA21. So, I mean, it's a really, really amazing vehicle. And I hope we get it later on. And speaking of Jaguar, for those of you wondering what the current Casito Podium vehicle is, that is the Ocelot Swinger. If you want to win this car, it's over there at the Casino. You can win it for free on the Podium over there. But anyways... The Anis Hellion, and a really cool new off-road vehicle. So what's it primarily based off of? It's primarily based off the Nissan Patrol GRY60. So the Nissan Patrol is very well known uh, in the community, the off-road community that is. Very cool vehicle. I mean, it's mainly known in other countries for off-roading and stuff. Because it was decently reliable, really cheap, and extremely, extremely modifiable. So, let's go ahead and see the kind of customization it has here. It has a generic SUV interior. Okay. Right on my D-pad modify. What she need then? The exhaust note. Sounds like the Vision a little bit. Kind of interesting. So 100% armor, brakes, bumpers, front bumper delete, better off-road clearance. So I will be doing an off-road capability testing video um, later today. If you don't know what that is, just search it up on YouTube. D D D Digital Car Attic Off-Road Capability or DCA Off-Road Capability. Um, and when I'm done with the off-road capability video for this, I'll link it in the pinned comment below. But obviously give me a few hours. I can't. It takes me a little bit of time to do those. But we got RAM uh, plate here, primary RAM plate, so like the top part of it. Secondary, then you got bull bar, secondary, lifted RAM bar, okay. You got bull bar too, I like this one a lot. Bull bar, uh, so it's like different colored variants you of the bull bar. I can do it. Three, okay, alright, so I'm going to do this one here, and the uh, that matte black finish, I like that a lot. Rear bumper, so you got a rear bumper delete. Light cage, light cage there. So it's a rear bumper, and then you got the cage around the tail lights with the stock bumper. That's what all these different options are. Then a ram Do you bar, need a drink? Bubbles primary, or and that same ram bar but with the little cage around the tail lights. And that's pretty much it. So I guess we'll just go with a competition kit. Might as well. engine exhaust so the exhaust options on this car are <laughs> very interesting so the first option is the air filters with an exhaust coming straight out of the hood then you got an intersected turbo so the hood's completely gone and you got the exhaust coming out the side there then you got a big daddy turbo <laughs> so if you're wondering why rockstar is doing this um, this car is very well known for engine swaps, which is why you see a, a V8 option here as well. So, in Dubai and stuff like that, they put, like, GTR engines on these things, and, I mean, LS swaps, you name it, big with really big turbos. They're, they're basically sleepers. I mean, I mean, they really go crazy modifying these things. So that's why, I guess that's why Rockstar got their inspiration from. Life so you've got bug catchers. You got the twin turbo LS. <laughs> oh my god. And then twin turbo with air filters. Just crazy. 
I mean, absolutely ridiculous. That right there reminds me of the Cletus McFarlane's um, Leroy engine. That right there. And this one kind of reminds me of Ruby. So for those of you who watch <laughs> Cletus McFarlane, I thought that's kind of funny. So, I mean, I do want to have a hood on this vehicle. Um, and the only hood one is either is either uh, stock or the exposed air filter. And I don't really like the air filter that much. But I really do want to have a hood on it. I really wish they would have had this one, but with a hood going across with like a cutout for the turbo or something. Which they have done in other vehicles, but unfortunately they don't have that, which kind of sucks. So, Making decisions is stressful. not sure what to do here. I'll probably just do the... I mean, the intersect of turbo is pretty cool. But... Again, we lose the hood, and I really like the hood. I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this, but I'm gonna leave the stock hood. <laughs> I mean, I love to. D I, I really want a hood on the car, though. You know, I just it needs to have a hood. Just my opinion. That kind of defeats the per the point of it being a sleeper. You know, if if that's what the build you're going for. So you got stock fenders, then you got fender delete, stock primary, secondary, and then you got bolted fenders. That looks pretty sick. Primary, secondary, and then you got flared fenders. I like those a lot. Primary, secondary. So the flare ones are really cool. I absolutely love that. So let's definitely do that. Your grill. So you have a grill delete. You can barely see it with the <laughs> this in the way, but you got exposed carbon grill, graded grill, chrome piped grill, carbon, chrome slatted grill in there, Anis Grill. So the Anis Grill has the Anis logo in the middle with the Anis name off to the side. That one's pretty, you know, I like that one. It's not too bad. Let's do that one there. Body work to match the driver. Oh, there was another one. The Anis Grill and then the Carbon Grill. Okay. So I'll do the Anis one, obviously, the Carbon one. This vehicle doesn't have any carbon. It'd be kind of dumb to put carbon on it. Okay, moving on to lights. So you got the headlights, which are stock if LEDs. That's very surprising. This would just might as well throw the xenons on there. Liveries. So you got white stripes, black stripes, atomic sponsor, redwood, number 56 mine mod, lube at 69. Not even gonna make a comment on that. <laughs> got Globe Ranger. So this one's kind of similar to the Jurassic Park uh, Jeep livery, which I thought was kind of cool. I can't believe Rockstar did that. That's actually pretty funny. Patriot Beer livery. Infinite Rage. <laughs> Nightmare. Definitely interesting. And that's it. So that's all the liveries there. So... I want to go like a little bit of the twist on this build. I do kind of want to do the Jurassic Park livery. I think that's pretty cool. So I'm going to do that. Um, I don't really like any of the other liveries, to be honest. I think the stripes are kind of weird. They look very, I don't know, the way they cut off, they're, they're kind of strange. And I do want to go with the livery. I don't want to leave it plain. So I'm, I'm going to go with this one. Life is hard when you can have anything. Moving on to plates. So I do have a plate for this. Go down here. Got yeah, muddy. There we Looks go. Almost as good as you. <laughs> Not too bad. Off-road vehicle, muddy plate, kind of goes hand in hand. So the real um, Jurassic Park Jeep, the color was like this metallic tan kind of goldish color. Um, I'm going to go with like a little bit of a twist to that. So I'm going to go uh, matte, and I'm going to go a desert tan. All right. Unfortunately, in here, you can't do the pearlescent glitch in the CEO office garage for some reason. It only works in the uh, Los Santos Customs. So if you don't believe me, you can try yourself and see, but it does not work in the CEO office car just for some reason, the pearlescent matte glitch. So we'll do that after we go outside, but for now we have the matte desert tan. Secondary color would be the trim there on the side of the door, and then I guess any of the other um, secondary color options you put on it. So I'm just going to do that color matched. So let's do matte, matte color match. There we go. And then you crumble to go right there on the side of the door. Moving along, we got roll cage. So you got a primary half cage. Okay. Secondary. And then primary. And secondary again. So I do like the half cage. I think it like adds a little bit back here. To give it, you know, a little bit more of, um... Because it's really empty in the back of this vehicle. So it gives us something. It gives it a little bit more of, like, accent. So 
Let's do a half cage there. There you go. Roof. We got light bar. Pretty cool. Half rack. And then raid kit, which is the rack and the light bar. I like the light bar and the rack a lot. I think it looks super cool. Let's do that. Don't she look pretty? Skirts. So you got slat skirts. You have a basically these are side steps. So you have the stock side step, then you got this one. Then you have a pipe step. You have a lifted pipe step. That's it. So I do like the lifted one. That one's pretty cool. So let's do that. Suspension. Not sure why you'd lower an off-road vehicle, but maybe if you're going for like a sleeper build or like a street build, then you lower it. It'll look kind of cool, but going with like an off-road build, so I'm going to leave that stock. Transmission. Turbo. Wheel type. So you have the stock wheels, which actually have a very um, specific tread, a very exclusive tread. Um, they're not normally available. I mean, the, uh, say the off-road ones are different. And the same thing with the, um, let's just say, SUV or even high end. The tread pattern is not the same as any of these. So it's very exclusive. But um, what we could do, because I do want to color the stock wheels, which come like in this like stock blackish kind of color. So these are the most similar to the stock ones, the mudslingers. So I'm going to go like with like a little bit of a twist here. So I'm going to go with the mudslingers. And then do kind of like the Jurassic Park Jeep. I'm going to paint them red. Try to get it as best we can match to the livery. No rush at all. Let's see here. Oh, I passed. There it is. <laughs> there we go. So that's the red. The blaze red is a little closer. Let's do the blaze red. Okay, tire design. I'm not going to do custom tire lettering. And enhancements, bulletproof tires. We'll leave that off for now, just in case we want to try like a glitch in the future or something. And for those of you people who glitch and speed glitch vehicles, you know what I'm talking about. But we got window plates. Wow, okay. <laughs> Not sure why you want to do that. Um, I wonder if this actually does give you the armor. So that'd be Maybe pretty interesting to know. Oh, look at the livery transfers over. That's kind of cool. But I guess if you want this to not look so empty, you can make it look more like... Um, I don't even know what you would call this, but more like a delivery truck. <laughs> when I see when I see that, I kind of prefer the windows. I don't know. We'll leave it with the windows, and then we'll tint them out a little bit. So window tint. There we go. Definitely tint that out a little bit. Whatever you decide. Uh, Almost way too dark. Let's do a light smoke Looks there. As good as you. And that's it. That's all the upgrades there. Let's go ahead and take it out, see how it drives, and we'll take it for that uh. That map per lesson glitch. It sounds very similar to the Vision. I know there's another vehicle we got recently with this engine, I just can't remember which one. Handles pretty good. Very floaty, you can imagine. Sways back and forth a lot. You turn. It's pretty fast for being you know, a vehicle like this. I'm very grippy. All right, let's try that pearlescent glitch out. What brings you in today? This matte desert tan definitely needs like a little bit of something in it. It looks too plain. Got it. So respray. Uh, to do this, you have the matte one. You hover over your matte one. Then you hover over metallic. And you can go and buy anything. You just have to buy something. I'll just buy the cheapest thing. So let's just say a plate. And then we'll go back to respray. And then boom, pearlescent. And there you go. You got a matte pearlescent. So I'll do... I'll do maybe like a silver. Or I think the cream is a little bit too bright. The cream looks pretty sick. Let's do the cream pearlescent. And there we go. Take it outside and see how it looks. Oh, I can tell already. It looks a lot better. A lot better. Very nice. Especially in the sun. Awesome. Exactly what I was looking for. It, it moves pretty well. Let's do a let's do a handbrake launch. Let's see, oh, it is in the off-roads class. Okay. Pretty decently. The, the RPMs are really weird on this. 
if you right here I'm gonna floor it with the handbrake and the engine doesn't start skipping I'm gonna start skipping until now kind of weird very weird So yeah, guys, stay tuned for the off ability video. I mean, that'll kind of be my, deci my deciding factor on whether to buy this or not, so stay tuned for that. Because other than that, I mean, it's not really, like, crazy fast. You know, you're not going to be beating dirt bikes in off-road races or Camachos or anything like that. Um, but maybe it's a fun off-roader. I mean, it looks like it. It feels like it. I guess we'll see. Let's go ahead and uh, open all the doors here. Let's see what opens. And we saw the hood open in the customization, so... Alright, everything opens. Nice. Interior there. Generic SUV interior. Ooh, got the manual shift there. Awesome. Love that. Engine there. Okay. Tailgate opens up. Love that. Super cool. I mean, a decent vehicle. I mean, very expensive vehicle. But I'm hoping the off-roading is worth it and it's very good in that uh, case. So I guess we'll see. So stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.